I'm David Gillett. I'm the uh, Director of Medical Services at Macquarie University Hospital and a, a urologist with an interest in cancer and robotics. Well, I qualified in medicine from Manchester, which is a great place to be a student, and worked there for three or four years in basic surgical training. I wanted to be a psychiatrist actually when I first qualified, but soon uh, changed my mind. I like the immediacy of surgery. Uh, and urology, which is my speciality, was very attractive. I moved to Bristol and spent 25 years there in training as a consultant um, with an interest in cancer. Cancer is a fascinating disease to treat and I uh, really found my feet there as a pelvic cancer surgeon and moving from old-fashioned open surgery to robotic surgery about 10 years ago and that's what I spent the last 25 years doing. The patient journey would really partly depend on the symptom the person had and the disease we might be looking for. But let's talk about a raised PSA for example. A raised PSA indicates the possibility you might have prostate cancer. Uh, normally if a GP was concerned, the patient was concerned, they'd refer that person to a specialist such as myself. At that point we'd probably arrange a multi-parametric MRI scan and try and use that to guide us as to whether that person needed a biopsy and if so, how that would be delivered. We do a biopsy, if it showed cancer we then sit down probably in a multidisciplinary way with an oncologist and a specialist nurse to discuss the options for that particular cancer. If it was an early cancer still within the prostate, the person was still reasonably fit, with a good life expectancy, discuss the relative pros and cons of different forms of surgery, different forms of radiation, radiation therapy, radiotherapy, or sometimes even monitoring or surveillance, which might be highly appropriate for some of the lower risk cancers that probably aren't going to impact on people's life in many cases. So that's the general pathway. We first of all make a diagnosis, we look at the risk it is to the person, and look at the options that are reasonable for that person, of which sometimes there are several, all of which have equal uh, arguments for and against. One of the benefits of coming to Macquarie University and to uh, MQ Health, which is the organisation we're now working within, is that it can deliver care within an academic environment, which means you can get high level, very specialised care from some of the best surgeons in Australia, I believe, the best doctors in Australia. That's combined with a teaching and academic and research environment, which has been shown to be able to de deliver better care, because we're thinking all the time, we're exploring all the time better ways of doing things. So one of the exciting things about Macquarie University Hospital, about MQ Health, is this academic environment we work within. We can aspire to be among the best in terms of delivering treatment, but we can also be exploring better ways always of doing things, both in the teaching and research environment. There's lots of things happening in cancer research at the moment, the prostate. Uh, it, I, I think one of the, the, the biggest changes in the last couple of years has been the introduction of uh, MRI as almost a standard way of helping with the diagnosis of prostate cancer. In other words, before you have a biopsy, most people would have an MRI scan, which in some studies has shown to reduce the need by, for biopsy by as much as 25%. Certainly you probably do less biopsies, or if you do them, they're more targeted. So by doing an MRI scan, you can reduce the uh, number of biopsies that you may need to do on people. So that's been one big step forward. There's a lot of work going on here and elsewhere, looking at better biomarkers, which are basically blood or urine tests that tell you whether you've got cancer, and if so, what type. Uh, the university here has got a lot of work going on to see if we can get better tests to tell you whether you've got cancer, and if so, how much of a threat it is to you and how likely you are to respond to treatment. So that's a, a great area of research that's ongoing as well at the moment.